The Hubble Space Telescope has taken thousands of iconic pictures since it was launched in 1990. But in December 1995, scientists aimed the telescope at something weird. Instead of targeting, say, a star or a black hole, they pointed it at this tiny blank portion of sky near the Big Dipper. Then they waited 10 days, making essentially a long exposure photo. Mauro Giavalisco was an astronomer on the Hubble project back then. I distinctly remember one of the experts calling the experiment pathetic. It was actually very controversial. He said it was a waste of observable time. But the picture they got became one of the most famous images in scientific history. It was the first ever image of the cosmos that existed 13 billion years ago, almost at the birth of the universe. See, telescopes are like time machines. The light from really distant objects takes billions of years to arrive to Earth. So that light actually shone in the ancient, ancient past. The plethora of early galaxies they saw didn't just surprise astronomers. It was so exciting. It was so terribly exciting. I mean, it was actually nice not to sleep for three, four nights in a day to reduce and analyze this data, analyze this data. It inspired them to design the James Webb Telescope to see even further back to the very first stars and galaxies formed 13.5 billion years ago. That's 300 million years after the Big Bang. NASA and the European and Canadian space agencies built the $10 billion device, which will be 100 times more powerful than Hubble. Hubble in low orbit sees visible light. Instead, Webb will detect infrared light, ancient wisps of heat. Its mirror, 21 feet across, will capture seven times more light than Hubble. But to measure that faint heat, it needs to be incredibly cold. That's why it sits so far from Earth. Last month, it unfurled five sun shields, each thinner than a human hair and as big as a tennis court. Webb will try to detect the first light emitted by newborn galaxies. It will see ancient quasars. Those are super bright objects that spray particles that seem to form stars. Astronomers are excited about their new super telescope, to say the least. I'm very hopeful that um, it, it's going to be as fabulous as we all hope. You know, it's not like when I was like a teenager going out for the first time on a date. <laughs> Astronomers have used Hubble's historic photo to estimate that the universe includes more than 100 billion galaxies. Scientists now say pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope will help explain what created all those worlds, including our own. John Moan, Newsy.